Okay. So the question comes up, can I use berberine if I'm using metformin and, or one of the GLP one agonists like terzepatide or semaglutide? And the answer is yes. You just have to make sure that you're tracking your own glucose. So whether you're wearing a CGM or you're using a keto mojo or a glucometer, or you're just paying attention to how you feel, we just don't want you dropping into too low of a blood sugar state. However, when we're looking at berberine and metformin, those two have been studied and, and it's been written about in the scientific literature that those two work very, very well together to both improve insulin sensitivity, lower glucose and improve A1C levels. So a type two diabetic or insulin resistant individual can use berberine blood sugar fixer and metformin at the same time. We usually recommend using around 600 milligrams of the berberine in conjunction with your prescribed dose of metformin. If you're using berberine on its own, the dose, the therapeutic dose is 1200 milligrams per day. And that can be split up into two 600 milligram doses. That's actually why I made my blood sugar fixer 600 milligrams of berberine per capsule. So you don't have to be taking three capsules a day. You can just take two, one at each main meal. So if your main meal is lunch and dinner, take one at lunch, one at dinner. When you're combining it with metformin, the chances of having some GI side effects like diarrhea, loose stool, a little bit upset stomach, significantly increase because berberine really only has that effect in about 20% of the population. Metformin is much, much higher. Many more people respond via the GI tract to metformin over berberine. Now, when you're using berberine with one of the GLP-1 agonists like Manjaro or Trulicity or Zempic, my recommendation is because those are once a week injectables that on that first day, maybe the second day of using the injectable, and especially for the first time, you might feel a little bit wonky. You might feel a little bit of a low blood sugar effect. You're going to feel that injectable for the first or second time much more than if you're using it for two, three, four months and you're using it weekly. So your body does get used to it. So what I found was when I first started kind of toying with and biohacking with terzepatide, that the day one, when I would do my injection, I would not take my berberine. The day after, I would also not take it. I would add it back in on day three. Now that I'm about two, three months into the use of the GLP-1s, I find that I can take berberine that day or even the day after, and it doesn't drop my blood sugar like it did in the beginning. I didn't measure it. I went by feel. One could very easily measure their, their glucose, like I said, with a CGM or a glucometer to make sure that you're not dropping too low. But the bottom line is, yes, it can be used in conjunction. Berberine can be used in conjunction with the GLP-1s and with metformin, but you just want to check to make sure that you don't drop too low with your blood glucose.